so welcome to this new tutorial on nuclear and um, yeah so last lesson we've we've learned how to set up nuclear in this in the documents folder we learned how to how to compile nuclear how to compile source code um, so now we're gonna go into the logic into the GUI logic so for that I prepared this file here mains.c I wrote this file. Well, I wrote. I, I modified the, the examples file in Nuclear to simplify it for the purpose of this tutorial. And then, uh, yeah, as you can see here in this folder, we can't forget this one. So we don't have to look at this one right at the moment. So nuclear. Forget it. It was from last lesson. So you see how simple this structure is. The fast version of Nuclear is. So all you need to run a nuclear file is to the, your your main dot c your make file. You don't really need the make file to 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 get it to running because make file is just compilation commands. Then you have nuclear dot Then you have nuclear glfl glfw. So this 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 is the the front end the rendering front end of nuclear. So yeah, let's start without further ado. Let's start to look at our C file. So if you open it with Genie, here we go. So we have here the the file nuclear, and then we have the um, this is uh, well. Let's go for the file from top to bottom, so we can actually understand what's going on here. So this is just an include, okay, include, and then define. This defines our switches for nuclear, so it includes standard library or standard input, C, C standard library, or the C standard input output in the case of standard I/O. Default allocator is the C library, so includes the includes the C std lib lib. And then this is just a nuclear file. We just seen before nuclear dot and then this is glfw dot as well. We seen before. So this is the callback error function, and then we have here in main. So this is the interpoint of a program for a nuclear program in main, and then we have the the width and the height of the um, of the window of the nuclear window. Will open. Will create. And then here we have. Um, the glfw variable and then the, the window the actual window the the actual root window is this here the root window of the application this is a message in case you can't start glfw then this is the hints for the for the glfw version open version 3.3 .3. and this is the yeah, so here it creates the it will create our GLFW window, our root window created here, and then here is um, the glue, the glue part. If you cannot uh, initialize glue, it throw up with this error. Okay, so we have here the context. You create the call. okay. So nuclear now, everything in nuclear happens in the context. So we have um, a context is very important. Everything that that happens in nuclear goes through the context. The context is the ultimate; it directs everything that happens. So every every component, every every element of the GUI, everything goes through the context. So the context is very important, guys. So you go here, search a context, put it to the context. You have here uh, this function glfw in it, um, and then we have here the the font, initializing the font. If you forget to initialize the font, you screw over the program, it won't work. So yeah. And then here I have the so this is a GLFW parlance here, okay? It's just an infinite loop that says if the GLFW close the window is not true then keep keep running this code until the, the window actually closed. Until the GLFW root window is closed. So we have here input the pole events, GLF the pole events and GLF the new frame. So this is the these are the, the input and then we have the GUI the GUI logic here on nuclear. This is one of the 
my favorite parts of aspects of nuclear is that it's very easy to to use to implement let's see why because look at the GUI logic the, the GUI part is so tiny it's incredible and there's um, the simplicity of the code of nuclear is something that's really good I quite like it instead of, for example the GTK where where you have this all these callback functions and all these uh, these weird pointers that are big pointers that you don't know where what they're doing are you, it's difficult to trace things in GTK it's difficult to, to know what what the hell is actually doing whereas in nuclear that's not the case nuclear is very easy I'll show you how so um, for example uh, but let, let's do that in a second so and let's finish the, this is the GUI part and the draw part drawing part so once the, the elements of the GUI have been set then they'll be drawn here okay this is OpenGL commands this is by no means uh, I am not an expert in OpenGL either so I can't really talk much about these commands here but they are just rendering commands of OpenGL and then everything is shut down at GLFW GL our window manager is shuts everything down terminate and that's it return zero or return zero because it's uh, it's good okay so here um, the bit the logic so if you could, if you look at the part of the GUI this is a nuclear specific part right of our program and then you can see that the uh, NK begins so nuclear is is made up of windows and each window starts with this declaration and NK begin Okay, so this is the, the demo. Call demo. You can call it anything. You can call it anything window. Let's just call it anything for the sake of it. Anything window. And then um, it's called NK rectangle. NK rectangle is just um, NK element. That's a rectangle, of course. And it's, this two first coordinates is the origin of the rectangle x y in relation to the root window. So if it's zero zero is on the top left corner of the root window, if I put anything else, something else, you'd go, you'd move inside the root window. We'll see why what that is in, the, in this series of tutorials. So and then we have a zero here. This zero, okay, again, this zero corresponds to the window flags. So in case if it's zero, there's a, there are no window flags, but you could have flags. We'll see in the future uh, two episodes of this tutorial that the flags could be a border flag, having the window having a border or having the window with a scroll bar or having something like that so there are multiple flags that can be used and this is just one of them now row dynamic what's this? Uh, so inside of F and keep again this is row dynamic here layout row dynamic this is basically this line adds a, a row to, the, to, to your GUI and in case of, uh, we'll see what's it, why it's dynamic, but let's not go into that now. As we go into the GUI, into the, into the context, via the context, and then he uses uh, 120 pixels height with one slot. We'll see that. And this slot of this row, so you can imagine a row with one slot is just a row with one element. Have one GUI element. If you had two or three slots, then you could have two or three GUI elements, and then you can have here this NK label, which is um, just a label saying "Hello World," so it will be a "Hello World" application with the text centered. This is a flag, nuclear flag, and get the text centered. Next bottom we have NK row static. In this case, it's um, okay via the context. You have the 30 pixels. Now this is static. We'll see why. But it has 30 pixels width and then 80 pixels. Uh, uh, sorry, 30 pixels height, 80 pixels width, and then again one slot. And in this slot, it's uh, NK button. So what is NK button label? It's just NK button. With a, with a name, the button has a name, a click button. So you could call it like anything, anything, any, any button. I'm, I'm very insp inspired today with names, as you can tell. Any button, and then you have F print F. Um, if, if the button is clicked, then F print F um, button pressed in the console. Now you can contrast this uh, simplicity with the GTK 
again I go to GTK because it's because the QT is also similar in that respect. You have to dissolve the signals, you have to connect the signals, it will happen in the R series with all these callback functions. It's it's a true nightmare non intuitive non intuitive thing to 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 learn. Whereas nuclear is so simple. Uh the simplicity of this uh, logic just blows my mind. It's really 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 simple. Um also and then NK end it means the end of our of our begin. So all uh, of our windows. So every every window starts with NK begin and then ends with NK end. This is this must be present in all windows of of, of nuclear. So for example, say you don't know what what an NK label does or or whatever any function will give us. Well, the beautiful thing about clear is you can just click on it and then it takes you there. It takes you there to the right function because it's a single header file. No more penny DRs with with crappy implementations with very long verbals and whatever syntactically unpleasing uh, implementations. It's just coherent. Boom. It tells where it is a void function returns void and then it has a it accepts the, the context a string for for as a character and then an alignment and okay, flag alignment. So this is really really cool. And then you can click on it and sometimes most likely there is a an actual documentation for the function is actually documented. Let's have a look. So if you find it like okay, is it? Here's some of the examples. Uh, okay, this one is already documented, but most often than not, you find the functions that are documented here. There is a small explanation for there, uh, but not this case. Okay, this is so obvious it's not documented. Okay, fair enough. Okay, you get the gist. So let's save our file and then let's um, fire up a terminal and compile this thing. So let's compile this thing and run it. Let's see what we get. So we go, um, hello world, we have our, our label hello world here. We have our button, if you click any button, what will happen? Well, you guessed it. It's gonna output text. Very, very cool, right? So now let's, let me just go through quickly since we're here, since we're here. So, if I had put here two labels, say, or, or three labels, and then I just, what I do is I have three elements, so it is row dynamic. Ah, why is it row dynamic and why is it row static? You ask me. The reason is the row dynamic, when you when you run the application, if you notice the row dynamic only has one argument, which is the width. And that makes that when you run the application, the dynamic layout, layout will cover the whole row automatically. It will adjust automatically to whatever the root window is, or not the root window, but uh, sorry, to the your um, your window is your your size of your window is. Whereas the static only takes a portion, so it takes 100 pixels, is one pixel left width, so it has a, a specific width. The width is not. Uh, it's not adjustable. So let's let's go for example here on uh, root dynamic NK layout let's let's add another row and uh, let's add another label but this time we'll change here. So we'll put sorry this one element let's just keep one element it's easier. Uh, NK text left left I think it's it's left yeah see because it's single header you already popped up the, the suggestion good auto completion and then I have here the um, let's, let's change the static for you to see what what it, what it does the static so let me roll static well static if you compare it now you'll give it an error because it'll tell us there are enough arguments oh well, yeah we go not enough arguments so we'll have to go and add more arguments. So that first, um, uh, let's call it uh, more arguments. Uh, Twenty-eight. But um, maybe, I don't know if it's okay. 
let's put 50 with, with 50 let's put the height 30 and then run this thing so you can see now I've done it because oh, okay I forgot that fair enough yeah I forgot the comma fair enough okay so running this thing we'll get here hello whoa and that means hello whoa because if there is a world that's not there and that's because it's a static layout so it means there's, the width is 50 pixels in the stops okay guys so you need to put if you want the whole thing if you don't know how long the text will be just put I don't know dynamic or whatever but that's the difference okay so if I put dynamic now it'll, fi it'll be fine but let's slow static 55 for example 55 static 55 save and let's run it again let's go probably run it again to see the difference I see hello whoa okay so whoa okay fair enough I had let's go ahead with this so dynamic row dynamic die dynamic and then now we can just put the height you see we'll do because it's, it's simple text and there here you go hello world cool so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial um see you guys next time see you later